it cut off on me. It went away. I was pretty much done with the list, though, so um, I just wanted to say um, that this movie was really, truly awesome, and um, I'm looking forward to the next one, but I'm kind of worried because they kind of went a little bit further than I thought they were going to go. I know I read somewhere a really long time ago that they were going to cut it off after Xenophilia's Lovegood, who, by the way, was brilliant, even with his really horrible hair, and it was hysterical to look at his hair, but he was a really brilliant actor. He did a really good job with um, poor Zeno, but um, that's where I thought they were going to cut it off, is after they escaped from the Death Eaters at Zeno's, and... Um, that was kind of weird to me that they like they just kept going then after that and I was like confused because I thought they were gonna stop there and then they just kept going and I was like they're not gonna have anything left for the second movie so I'm kind of worried to see um how they fill in the two and a half hours of the second movie because they all, all they have left is what they're gonna plan for a week at Shell Cottage that's gonna take what 10-15 minutes and then <coughs> excuse me and then the breaking into Gringotts and then and then the battle at Hogwarts, and that, that that's it. So I guess, I guess Aberforth's story will take a little while, and I guess Harry going into the forest, but, you know, um, and then I guess King's Cross with Dumbledore. Oh god, Dumbledore's in the next movie. I keep forgetting that. Oh, I thought we were done with him. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of Dumbledore, but yeah, I guess I'm worried about the next, I mean, I'm super, super excited, but I, I hope that they have enough content that they didn't go too far with this one. I... I really hope that um, that they don't run out of stuff and they have to like make stuff up. You know, I'm kind of worried about that, but I think it'll be okay. I think they have enough, um, even with Malfoy Manor being in this one, which I thought it, I thought Malfoy Manor was going to be the second one. I thought that um, that would have been a really great um, kind of exciting opening for the second movie. But I guess they wanted to start the second movie off a little slower, have a little bit of resolution at the end of the first movie with Dobby's death and stuff like that. Um, and start up the second movie with, uh, you know, sort of a slower kind of their planning and how, just, you know, how do, how do we get the cup and the sword and, and, you know, how do we break into Gringotts? So I guess it'll be a, a, a better, slower beginning, but the end will certainly pick up and, um, it'll be really, really amazing. Hopefully I'm so looking forward to it. Eight months is way, way, way too long to wait for um, for a movie that's going to be so freaking epic. Ah, I can't wait. So um, now that this video in its two parts is like 18 minutes, I should stop and I should go write my Nana Weirmo novel, which I'm 6,000 words behind on because I've been looking forward to Harry Potter. Um, so I will hopefully and obviously see you on Wednesday and I'm gonna go write some story and obsess some more over Harry Potter so I will talk to you guys later and bye